becoming successful is literally just increasing the percentage of which you don't listen to that thought. That's literally all you've got to do to become successful. By the time you like don't listen to that Jeffrey thought, 90% of the time, you're already making over 100K a year. Make it 99% of the time, you're making over a million a year. Yeah. You know what that voice is inside of your head? Mm. It's the Jeffrey part of you. Oh, it doesn't actually need to be you. It's just, it's kind of like the devil on your shoulder. It's always going to belittle yeah. you. It's always going to tell you things that make you feel insecure and anxious and, and awkward. And the more you listen to it, the worse your life becomes. And eventually your best friend is Jeffrey and he hates you and you hate him and you hate yourself now because, you know, he's just feeding poison into your ear. And 0% mm. of the times listening to the, what that Jeffrey voice in your brain says actually serves you. This is, it, this is like one of the weirdest parts of self-improvement that took me a while to grasp. A lot of the times you shouldn't trust your own brain. Unless you are like, you've built the extreme perfect success and the perfect relationship chances are it's your own brain that has actually put you back which seems really weird but you should question the thoughts that you get especially if you can just objectively see that they're not good like you were able to just like disassociate away from that part of your brain and explain it to us which i respect you commend you for because that's like that actually takes some kind of you know just intelligence or whatever it is that you were able to just hear the thought I saw it in your energy that you weren't happy with the suggestion and then you kind of like went silent for a bit which probably when the Jeffrey thought started to arise and then you were able to just kind of make a joke about it and tell everyone <laughs> do that more literally like we've all got that thought inside of our mind if you let it direct your life you'll, you'll live such a, a a wasted life and Becoming successful is literally just increasing the percentage of which you don't listen to that thought. That's literally all you've got to do to become successful. By the time you like don't listen to that Jeffrey thought, 90% of the time, you're already making over 100K a year. Make it 99% of the time, you're making over a million a year. But most people are stuck at about 20 to 50%. <laughs> well, you know what you say about talking to yourself? I do the exact same thing and I found that people who do that they naturally gravitate towards careers in business where you could just have an extension of that and i think youtube's like pretty much the best one possible in youtube you're literally just talking to yourself in some ways and eventually you start to you know become a better marketer and you start to think okay who am i actually talking to i'm talking to me really i literally just i'm talking to people who are exactly like me so in the end it's like you're literally just talking to yourself like I, I've made this, I got 2 million subscribers. I just made a hundred K in the last four days just by talking to myself. That's literally, it, in the end, that's all I'm actually doing. It's just that I've monetized my craziness. So you, you I mean, you may as well, because if you're not making money from it, it's, it's just a loss at this point. <laughs> if you're going to be weird, you may as well make money. Too. <laughs> you know, because a lot of people aren't too sure of how like masculinity and femininity works and you know, you can think that as an alpha male, you've got to like, you've got to control your woman. But I wouldn't really say so. From from my understanding of looking at like the real strong men, they really, really like respect and love their women. In the end, the strong man makes the decision that he thinks is right. But a captain will always ask the first mates for their viewpoints, always. A, a captain would would be a failure if he never listened to his if he never even asked his first mates or even the whole crew of their opinions the first mate is generally that that's like the feminine woman's role and the masculine man is the captain usually children don't actually they don't learn anything they just copy children just imitate they imitate the people that they respect and look up to so a parent can tell their child, like, don't shout. But it doesn't matter. The child will shout if the parent shouts. Like one time I was, I used to, um, I used to work out on the gymnastic rings in this park. And a load of like, you know, family and people would walk past me. I remember one time there was this, this mother with her daughter in like a pram. And her daughter's maybe like one or two years old. Like she could like just about walk and stuff. And her daughter's like crying in the, the pram. And they walk past me and the mother's like literally just fed up. 
And she goes, oh, stop it, stop it. I've had it with your whining. She, she takes the, the kid, little baby, like two years old maybe, out of the pram or something and puts her onto the, like, the pavement. She's just stood there and she starts walking without her. She's like, I've had it. Stop it with your whining. It pissed me off because I was just thinking, like, why do you think your, your child is whining? Why do you think your child is loud right now? Because you are. Your, your children will only imitate you. Now, you're not, of course, like another father, but your your sister probably respects you enough that she will imitate some things that you do. And so you want to do the thing that you want her to do, but you also want to, you want to make it obvious. You want to hype it up. 